Hey guys, I am back today with another Minecraft mechanism tutorial. Today I will be showing you how to create the supercritical phase shifter. It's used in mechanism to create antimatter, which is important for some builds and machines. But I should put everything you need up on the screen and then we will just get right into it. You'll see me here, I gotta set the time today, you know, so it doesn't get dark. Uh, but we will start with our SPS casing and we will just create a little three block outline so we can start building the base. Then you're going to want to take your glass and we're going to build like a little cross shape. Um, you'll see how I do it here. It's five blocks wide or five by three and then I just add uh, three blocks on the edges and it should look just like that. Once we have that built, you're just going to outline it in the casing. And then we will start building the sides, which is basically the exact same shape as the bottom, uh, just on all four sides. But you'll see me do that here, and I will just let you guys build with me, and I will be back in a second. Alright, once you got that going, we're going to take more of our casing and fill in the corners and sides, and then we will start on the top. For the top, it's basically the exact same setup. Uh, we're going to fill in the corners here, but after that, you put three more casing on top of every side. And then, like I said, we're going to fill the top in with the glass of the exact same shape. Once you get that glass put down, uh, just add a few more casing on the corners. And then once you do that, you should see it spark with that little, little red spark. It should tell you that it's built correctly. Just like that. And then we'll go right into our ports. We'll have one input for power. And then we'll have one input for polonium. And then lastly, we'll have an output for the antimatter. Just have to change that with a configurator real quick. And in this video, I'm using uh, an energy cube, uh, but obviously in your world, you'll use whatever energy source that you have. On our energy input, we're gonna add our coil. I know you can add two coils or more as, uh, for the aesthetic part of this build, but you only really need one. Uh, one will do you the job. You'll see me just hook up the power here. And then we'll go on to add our polonium. I did make a previous video on polonium pellets. It would be the exact same setup, uh, you know, nuclear waste making polonium, and then you would just pump that straight into this. Uh, here I just have an infinite polonium tank. You'll see it start to, you know, do its fancy thing. You'll see the shifter fill up with polonium and now you do want to be careful with the polonium because it is radioactive so if you break these pipes or anything like that you'll release radiation and it will not be fun for you we'll take our pressurized tube tubes and we'll add our chemical crystallizer this should start to fill up with the antimatter and I believe it's 1,000 millibuckets will create one pellet. I'm not exactly sure, though. I just left the other one running and it filled up. Uh, you will also want to connect this to power so it can work. I will, you know, do my little fly over to my one that has been running. And you'll see that I have been creating pellets in this one. 
but it really just is that simple. Uh, that's the build in itself, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you like it, um, you know, make sure to like and subscribe for future content. But if anyone has any suggestions, you know, feel free to leave a comment. Uh, other than that, I hope you guys have a great day, and thank you for watching.